Tyler, for you getting your first, I believe, in a Sun Devil uniform, feeling good, what do you think? Uh, it was a great pass by Chucky. Um, you know, we were working on the backdoor play all week, kind of uh, on the power play, and made it happen. So it was good to be able to capitalize an important part of the game. Tim, how do you feel about your performance tonight, two points tonight? Um, yeah, I thought, obviously, it was a good good team win overall. You know, just kind of looking forward to Saturday and looking forward to get the sweep. So. What was the energy like when you guys had the three unanswered goals within, I think it was almost four minutes, just bring us through the energy on the bench? Yeah, I mean, I think it was good. Um, I mean, we got scored on. Um, I don't think really the energy on the bench kind of changed after that. Everyone kind of took it as like, we need to step it up a little bit, and that's what happened. Um, we came out hard. We were playing fast. We were playing Sun Devil hockey, and I mean, when we do that, that's what happens. Yeah, honestly, same, same as him. You know, <laughs> nothing really to cover up there. Tyler, three games into your Sun Devil career, the captain. How have you felt so far as a transfer in your first three and the team as a whole? Um, I think it's good. Um, you know, the, the team worked really hard in the off season to be able to have this start that we have right now. Um, and I think we're just going to keep on taking it in the right direction. Um, who knows what we can do if we keep on playing the way we are and getting better every day. Tim, the word that Coach Powers used for you and the defenseman was dynamic. And an offensive defenseman is just so valuable in hockey today. How do you think that's a part of your game and the defensive core as a whole? Yeah, uh, obviously you're going to have um, you know different defensemen. Um, it's kind of just through hockey, and uh, obviously like I think that's a big piece of my game. But um, yeah, our defensemen, is, our defensive core, like as a whole unit, is outstanding. And um, yeah, I think people don't really understand that really about our team yet. Um, it's been coming along through the process, and yeah, you know, it's it's really good. So it seems like you and uh, Tim. Seems like you and Tabakin are out there, kind of playing, you know, obviously together on the same pair, but also just kind of playing that same offensive defenseman kind of style. What have you noticed from him, and you know, learning his way of play and kind of adapting to play together? Yeah, Tab's a great player. Um, it's pretty like easy to play with him too. So like, if we're able to transition quick and get pucks to the forwards, and maybe one of one of us hops in the rush, uh, it's going to create a lot of opportunity for us. So. For the both of you, uh, three oh no to start the season. All three games have been uh, at Mullet, and then obviously tomorrow as well. Has the home crowd advantage really been a factor in your guys' win? And if so, how? Yeah, I mean it's been awesome. Um, I mean I don't know if the student section was sold out tonight, but I know both games last weekend they were. It looked like they were tonight. They're bringing the energy. Like it's awesome because we feed off that. Yeah, uh, honestly, like. They get us going every game, you know. When I look down there in warm ups, it's kind of like, it's awesome, you know. I really don't really get the chance to really realize like how supportive our student section really is, and um, yeah, it's real. It's great. Tyler, how does it kind of compare to anywhere else you've played? I mean, you, to age or anything, you've been around a little bit. Can you rephrase your question? How does the student section compare to other arenas or other places you've played in college hockey? Oh, it's awesome. Um, I, I mean. The way that it is with them being behind the visiting team goalie for two periods, like they're getting loud, they're getting in the goaltender's head. Um, I mean, it it definitely makes a difference because when the goaltender's hearing them scream at them all game long, like it gets pretty annoying. So, <laughs> Tyler, is there a major difference in you know your time at Penn State having you know a, a tournament at the end of the year to make the postseason versus here with the an independent team for one more year, having to pretty much win as many games as you can to, to have a good resume. What have you noticed so far? Um, I mean, I think the biggest change is just like being an independent team. Um, you gotta you gotta show up every single night. It, it doesn't matter who's playing on the other side. Like we need to bring it because come the end of the season, like it's gonna be those games that like are close, or maybe we go to overtime. That might be the reason that we don't get into the tournament. So we we just need to do a good job bearing down every chance we get, every time we put the jersey on, um, and make it count. For both of you, what do you guys feel like the key success for tomorrow will be? Um, I, I mean, in my opinion, I, I think it'll be just being a little bit more disciplined all over the ice. Um, you know, the PK was great tonight. I, I think, though, if we maybe cut back on some of the penalties and just be a little bit smarter with puck management all over the ice, like. There's no reason that we can't have them in the ozone and really capitalize. Um. Yeah, Gratz again kind of topped it off there. Um, yeah, no, obviously we can clean up our game a little bit, and you know, um, we're a team that kind of takes a lot of penalties, and 
I think that's, a, that's another big piece we need to clean up. Obviously, uh, the officiating tonight, I don't know uh, if it was great, some of the calls against us, but uh, no, it doesn't matter. Like, it's a big piece we can clean up for sure. So.